Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. I'm Nick. Today, I'm opening up a package from a band that I think everyone should check out. There's a bunch of links down below. There's links for the Vinyl Den Facebook group, for the merch page, for the Spotify and Apple Music playlist I put together every week, and the Patreon page. Make sure you check all that out. Like always, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I release new episodes. So what I've got in this box is the new album. It's the second studio album from the band Scooped Up. The album's called The Runs. I've absolutely loved this album. It's probably been one of my most streamed albums of the year so far. If you're a punk fan, especially like late 90s, early 2000s punk, I think you're absolutely going to love this album. If you're like, if you're a fan of like old Blink, uh, like early Blink-182, like, uh, you know, Dude Ranch and Before, if you're a fan of like Kerplunk era Green Day, if you're a fan of the first couple of Sum 41 albums, I think this album's going to be right up your alley. So these guys are a three-piece pop punk band from Milford, Connecticut. You know, everything's all DIY. They do everything themselves. You know, they shoot their own videos. I will say that if you go and follow them on Instagram, follow them on YouTube, I'll put links down below for all their all their handles and all that. They're absolutely hilarious. I love the promo videos they've been shooting for the runs where they kind of make fun of some other pop punk albums, kind of hype up theirs. Really cool stuff, really fun stuff. Definitely, uh, definitely check them out. All right, so what do we got in here? We got some packaging. And then, this is the cool thing. This is the thing I like about this. These guys have, they did like little baseball cards for this album. And I, you know, I'm, I grew up in the 80s, collected baseball cards and all that stuff. Here, I'll open this package up. There's a couple of scooped up stickers in there. And then they've got baseball cards for the three members of the band. Like I said, I think it's absolutely cool. It's a great uh, promotion idea. That's a, a really cool thing there. This channel is primarily vinyl related, but I do listen to a lot of CDs. I listen to CDs in my car. I'm not a big fan of streaming music, but you know, I do it out of convenience. But uh, it's definitely uh, something that uh, get a lot of play in my car. And then, of course, the thing that I was really looking forward to. So I think there's only 200 copies of this that, that they press. So it's on blue vinyl, limited 200 copies. There's the, the hype sticker in the corner up there. That's the, the Rons. And the cool thing is, if you look, it's the Rons. It's got a nice baseball theme to it. And then, of course, if you look on the guy's shoe, you you see the other kind of uh, Rons going on. They're, like I said, really kind of fun. I love the energy they have on this album. There's the, the back cover of the guys just uh, sitting on a bench there. And then this also comes with a poster, which I think is just the front and back artwork. So there's the artwork off the front of the album and then the artwork off the back. So it's kind of cool. Love the poster, love the cards, love the stickers, everything that they put together with this. So the artwork on the CD version is a little different than the artwork on the, the vinyl version. It's got the, the same front cover. But the back cover is uh, slightly different. The back cover from the from the vinyl version is what's on the inside of the CD there. It's got a nice little buckle in there. And then here's the the CD itself. You know, it's scooped up. Looks cool. You know, it's blue just like the, the color of the album. And then, not sure what the story is with the uh, the banana in there. But uh, it looks kind of cool. A little artwork, the little touches that they added in there. It's a little bit different than, than what you're getting with the vinyl version. All right, so I got the shrink wrap off. You can see the, the artwork a little bit better. The front cover, back cover there. And then this has got a uh, really nice printed inner sleeve. Like I said, these guys do all this stuff themselves. You know, I, I I give this band a lot of credit, you know, for for all the stuff that they're doing, like the cards and all that stuff, without having the, the backing of a, a big label or anything like that to help them out with. But uh, nice little printed inner sleeve. Got the lyrics on the, on the back side of it there. And then, uh, like I said, this is on translucent uh, blue vinyl. Looks really cool. Love the uh, love the blue. So as far as the music goes on this album, like I said, if you're a fan of punk music from the late 90s, early 2000s, these guys sound like they could have come straight off Warped Tour 1999. Uh, you know, I love this stuff. There's not a bad track on this album. I, some of my favorite songs on here, Dyslexic is a great track. Probably my favorite track on the uh, on the album. But uh, Joyride's a good one. Uh, Bomber's a good one. Skip Day's another great track. It, it just fun to kind of go through this music and listen to it. I, I, I love seeing music like this come back up with, with younger bands doing stuff. And I'd like to see more of this uh, in the future. I can't wait to see where this band goes. So I think the one big thing that separates scooped up from a lot of the other you know, younger punk bands that are out there nowadays 
is, you know, a lot of the younger or newer punk bands really kind of fall victim to a lot of the production techniques that are, you know, pretty, pretty standard nowadays. This album in particular sounds like it was recorded in 1998, 1999. It doesn't really have any of that over the top production stuff on there. It's just a good, fun, raw punk album. Uh, you know, it's super short. The song comes in less than 30 minutes. I think there's 14 tracks on here. This is an album that once you get done listening to it, you know, it's so short that you want to listen to it again. You just want more and more music from this band. Well, that's all I got for you today, guys. Thanks for checking the show out. You know, I will tell you, like I said, if you're a, punk, a pop punk fan, definitely check this band out. Check, definitely check this album out. I absolutely love it. It's available on all streaming services. I'll put links down below if you want to check out their videos on YouTube. Uh, you know, follow them on, on Instagram. Check out their, their store. Pick up some copies of their album. You know, this is an album that I, I can tell you right now, I'm sure by the end of the year, it's going to be on my one of my you know top 10 albums of the year. Just that good of an album. But let me know what you guys think. Like always, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. That's all I got. Until next time, keep on spinning. Peace. Peace.